Fresh drop. He legit crying. Like, I am not to be played with. Not to be played with. I'm not to be played with. I'm not to be played with. Play play Y'all, this man be driving me crazy. All week. Leaving out the house. Fresh drop. Look at all They on the air yeah. mattress? Leaving out the house for little oh reasons. Oh, I'm finna go, like, what? Going to the store, just getting little, little stuff that he could have got from the vending machine downstairs. He find every reason to get out the house. Oh my God, why would you come to her, bro? You a cheater, a liar. Oh my God. What else? Why would you cut my arm? Uh, I have so many questions about this, bro. I, I was not expecting a crying reaction. I thought he was going to be a little bit, a little bit more like, ah, like, you know, as far as aggressive of a reaction but he literally broke down i mean i get it dude he probably been growing those out look i'm not an expert in dreads all right but my cousin says you can always go ahead and retwist those back in and try to lock those up they do it all the time exactly what t-pain i think cut his dreads and got them twisted back in let me know if i'm wrong but this should go to the extreme Ooh, I would say almost, yeah, dude. He, he could have really just got a little bit more aggressive. And just imagine if he did that to her, bro. She would have knocked, knocked his head clean off his shoulders if he wanted to. Yo, let me take you out. How you gonna leave us with a car right here? Look what I'm driving, look what he's driving. You can't be serious. You guys see that? I can't believe this shit is happening right now. Shit is boring, yo. What uh, this video was really trying to say is that, hey, this woman passed all these guys up because it's easier to live with a simp, aka a clown that's going to do everything for her and, let, and not hold her accountable. She can go out there, dress as that, do whatever she wants. And look, he's going to love her. He's going to fall in love with her. That's exactly what this looks like and portrays. All right, man, it looks like we got another villain activated. All right, yeah, villain was made in this clip. All right, guys, look, uh, this next clip, man, uh, let's just gonna go ahead and explain it. This lady was really pretty much low-key saying in this clip and in the comments that, you know, men are choosing to pass her uh, because of her height. She's, what, 6'2", a little bit over six foot, but men are saying no, they don't wanna mess with her, she's too tall, you know, and she's trying to say, why would men pass me up? If I'm built like this, check it out. Oh, I really don't know guys. What do y'all guys think, man? You know, is height a factor? All right, it's height a factor, all right? When they want men over six foot, they claim. They need them six feet and over, all right? What about you, men? See, the men, the difference is you can be cute, nice, and wholesome, and the man is still going to give you a shot. You can be six foot three for all you care. It's five, all right? As long as you keep yourself together, you got a good head on your shoulders, man. You kind of look, you check off all the boxes that he's looking for. A man probably will give you a shot. Now, would he be a little nervous, maybe intimidated at first? Maybe. We're gonna give you the maybe, all right? The benefit of the doubt. But you give that man a chance, he's gonna settle right in. In between those tall tree thighs. He gonna con them things, all right? But, you know, can't say that. Can't say the same from women in this case. But guys, would y'all shoot your shot at the girl that was just shown? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Brittany Renner says her new lifestyle has left her broke. 
with nowhere to stay. So you got Brittany Renner basically claiming that you know she's broke out here and has nowhere to stay after turning Muslim, right? Brittany Renner has been on this new wave for, I believe, maybe a couple months. So in a couple months, you don't went broke, huh? I believe this is just an excuse for Brittany Renner to sooner or later go back to the way she used to move right now. Maybe she was getting calls for other things to show up to places. But if you're getting calls for interviews and things like that, I don't see how you being Muslim would affect that. But she claims ever since she changed her lifestyle, she is now broke. How can she be broke? I swear this girl is making like 18000 a month, right? Off of PJ Washington, if I ain't mistaken. Did I get that right? She had a baby. Just on child support alone, I'm pretty sure she can maintain a, a decent lifestyle with $18,000 a month. But the to use... You know, and it's so sensitive religion, bro. Like you really just went off of something and changed it all in a simple day. Like really, did you even take your Shahada? Did you even study or research this religion? Or are you just really doing it as a as a trend or a fad? Or you feel something that you're drawn to? Do you understand the reasonings behind this? Because you're losing a lot of money, but I low key think yes. She's going to feel the pain of being broke. She's going to miss all that extra revenue she's had. And she's going to want to switch back to showing her body. Let's just be honest. Now, I'm not, I haven't checked their page, but let me go ahead and check her page real quick while I got you here. All right, guys, look, after a quick Google search and looking at her IG page, yes, check this out. She swear, this is what I'm talking about, man. She wants to go from being very covered up to like still you know showing everything like i just don't get it like if you if you really are devoted you, you you would be pretty much like what you would be pretty much changed everything on your page we know you low-key gonna go back to that we, we're gonna go back you're just waiting for the right opportunity to go back and then you're gonna hit the streets hard so he knows i'm going to lunch he knows you're he going knows my vibe he knows how i like to move and he only sent thirty dollars i'm not gonna <laughs> bend over backward for a man that is just sending whatever he can. But if I'm talking <laughs> yeah. to him, next time I'm out I'm, uh, and he says, oh, you need something for lunch? I'm gonna tell him, it's okay, somebody already sent me $100. Okay. <laughs> if we're being completely honest, right here, right now, we've all eaten lunch for $30. Yes. Yeah. Let's start 100%. There. Wait, you know, little cafe spot, yeah. baby. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna snap us and get something yeah. popping, but we're not saying that we're ungrateful. Right. Food is food on the table. However, you know what the Correct. standard is. Correct. Me in that situation, handling it with grace. Thank you so much, baby. I'm yes. so appreciative. I'm going to still take a picture of that bill and I'm going to send it to him. <laughs> Thank you for the 30. That was the tip. Also, men, if you know that you cannot give $30 or if it's hard for you to give, then you need to date within Don't your... Date. Do you not can date. date. No, you can. Do not date. But date with the woman that, number Do one, does not <laughs> have that expectation. Mm -hmm. Or number two, it's in that that rain oh my god thirty dollars is a nice i mean dude like who really so let me ask you this if you go out and you have lunch all right you're talking about thirty dollars is a tip that's above a hundred dollar check right if you're doing 20 percent, right you're right above a hundred dollars you telling me right now that a, a person that isn't doing too much for lunch is really out there spending over a hundred dollars and Hey, look, your average guy can't even send you $30, all right? So that's just what I'm saying. You are, I would say, hey, men are doing what they claim is average and is decent and more realistic and logical. What are you, what are you eating that's more than $30 worth of food for damn lunch? Wouldn't that be just like way too much, right? So what's the deal here? And the fact that they're claiming men shouldn't be dating, they're dating above their means, they're dating out of their league, well, that doesn't negate the fact that $30 is a lot of money for some food. You can get a lot. And I really think that these women are giving a hard time and the $30 is not even there. It's like somebody's gifting them stuff. All right, like really get, I'll be happy to get a damn coupon as a man so I can go use it and save a few dollars. But the shoe, I mean, the thought process isn't the same when it comes to the other sex. I'm not sorry for what I'm about to do. <laughs> what are you doing?
Uh, you are not sorry. Uh, what are you, the man probably thought you was about to bite him in the face. Look, uh, what was that? What? Ah, that one. That is a big fail, friend. That is a big fail. And I tell you, it hurts different when women when men put women in the friend zone. It just hits a little. It hits harder for women. I promise you, it does. This the wig she paid eight hundred dollars for, bro. I gave her the rent money to go pay the rent, bro. And she came back with this. Talking about she spent it on the wig for her birthday. This wig, crunchy as hell, bro. Look at this wig. She bogus. <laughs> now we about to get put out because she's selfish and thinking about herself. Talking about her birthday coming up and she don't know what she going to do with her hair. So she bought a wig, bro. First uh, Yeah, $800 on that wig is capped, dog. What she did, what she did that night with that $800 wig, man. Y'all gonna be on the streets, man. And you just gonna allow it to happen. I hope you didn't steal it up for yourself. And I hope you make a, find a way to pay the rent. Yeah, for some, I don't know how a phone that's actually on with the notifications on is in the wall. I would assume that maybe the title is misleading imagine finding your chin so he probably left his phone in there they were calling and they need to get it out it kind of dropped between a crack or something that y'all were working on you were trying to take a picture or something it just fell out your hand because you were trying to get a, like a picture on what to fix but just in case my man must have had something to really hide if you hide a phone in a damn wall that that she, you would have to pretty much break through sheetrock to get. Yeah, dog, you caught now, bro. Whatever <laughs> that was. Not all, not all, but majority of people who keep in touch with their ex while they are in other relationships, so they have more control than they ever did before by knowing that there's another person, but they can have you whenever they want to. Hmm and you allow it what again i didn't say all but majority of those who still talk to their ex feel they have more control now than they ever did when they were with you because you they you are already shared a physical connection get what i'm saying and that if something happened in their relationship where they can call you talk to you text you be around you and you are more likely as a person whatever y'all may do might get back into that same action and then go back to y'all to y'all partners and act like shit never happened very much so very much so that man or that female might have too much uh, ownership, man. They might have too much interaction, bro. Too much interaction. The key uh, word in that big word is action, all right? There's too much verbal going on. There's too many verbs, too much action. You know, you're back and forth texting. You're allowing doors to be open, you know, candles to be relit, our emotions to be flowing. You can be having a bad day and you want to go and talk to your ex because for some reason, he, he he's a better listener on this day than he was the, when he was in the relationship with you before. All right. Or maybe that, you know, your old lady's giving you a tough time or whatever, man. She's nagging, you know, you just want to find some peace, peace and comfort. So your ex-girlfriend is there and she uh, she's like, yeah, bro, no one's home. But here's what it is, man. I'm telling you, it's never a good thing, bro, because it always just leads down a bad into a bad result. All right. So somebody's going to find out something. It's not going to be good. All right. You're going to wind up losing half the shit that you have, guys. So be careful. Or, you know, you really just, you know, hurt the other person and you want to be, you know, pretty much going down the same path and doing it again. And then you lose, you got to go through that same turmoil all over again. So the best thing to do is just avoid talking to your ex. Unless y'all have some extreme financial obligations, even so, still keep it to a very, very minimal. Hello? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, push the camera down so I can see your face. Right, there we go. Uh, sorry, I'm breastfeeding too. You're, you're breastfeeding at this moment? Yeah. Where the, where the baby daddy at? <laughs> Kendra! Kendra, you know where that baby daddy is at. 
He's not there. That is why she is on your live breastfeeding. All right, that doesn't make no sense. Why are you want to go out here and ask for, you know, she wants to find a man, all right, and get this exposure, but this is how you come. This is the most incorrect way to come and ask for a man that I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, at this point, man, you giving people that show up pregnant, like, like a way better chance. Like, you came up, like, newborn baby breastfeeding, like, <laughs> still, in, like, fresh out the womb, baby. Like, I... How, what do you think your odds are? It's, um, not around right now. You look at, how old is your baby? She's three weeks. Your baby's three weeks old. Yeah. Your baby's three weeks old? Yeah, she is. And you're looking for a man? Um, well, yeah. Baby, you got <laughs> a baby on your titty. And you're looking for a new man already. Uh, look, you know, that's that's a whole bit of delusion right there, Kendra. Like, I just, I don't know how they come out of the works. And sometimes I think these ladies call in to start trolling at this point. Dude, ain't no way that she came to a single live like that.